Deco must for British colonial style lovers. Introduce a touch of formal English elegance with these British colonial design elements. The British colonial era in India spanned over three centuries, starting from the year 1615 when the East India Company acquired its first piece of territory in Bombay through the 1857 revolt and takeover by the British Crown in 1858 till the year 1947 when India gained independence. During this period, the British constructed and erected magnificent public buildings and private homes in major Indian cities and at hill stations which functioned as their summer retreat. British architecture intermingled with local Indian materials and responded to the local climate to evolve into a unique British colonial style, while the public buildings, including the palatial residences of the highest dignitaries, aimed to fuse Western and Eastern architectural and deco styles, infusing some of the extravagance of native royalty. The usual houses and bungalows were simpler but designed to create comfortable homes in the usually torrid conditions of most of India. They did include fine detailing, mostly in furniture, which made use of the excellent artistic skills of Indian craftspersons and beautiful fixtures, implements and accessories of domestic life which were portable. Take a look at some key British colonial design elements that were dominant during the British Raj in India. British Colonial Architecture most British colonial homes have high ceilings that keep the interiors naturally cool during the hot and humid Indian summer because hot air rises and cool air sinks. The walls are painted in white or pale colors to create a psychologically cool environment. These colors reflect heat and make the space feel light and airy. Additionally, British colonial homes often have an array of arched floor to ceiling windows or doors. The large windows bring in ample natural light and ensure good cross ventilation. Note that when there was no electricity, candles were lit within the bell jar and the glass covers of the lantern protected the candle flame from being blown out. Lured Shutters Tall lured shutters are another prominent feature of British colonial homes. The angled horizontal slats admit air, filter light and ensure privacy. The lured shutters also offer protection against the rain and harsh sunlight which are typical to the extremely hot and tropical climate of India. Dark Wooden Campaign Furniture British colonial homes incorporate dark wood floors and dark wooden campaign furniture carved in different types of wood like ebony, teak, mahogany, rosewood or mango wood that are already available in India. Campaign furniture is specially designed portable furniture for a traveler lifestyle. These pieces of furniture can easily collapse into travel-ready pieces such as folding chairs, tables, chests of drawers, writing desks, beds and other such furniture which the British could carry and transport when they move from one place to another. Natural textures Natural textures are vital to the decor of British colonial homes. Woven elements are used to add depth, texture and an element of detail in the rugs and furniture. The furniture is made in local materials such as bamboo and rattan, the stems of a climbing palm. Wicker wood, a style of weave used in furniture which also adds contrast to the darker wood. Four poster bed. No British colonial decor lover's home can be complete without the hallmark four poster bed. These beds look formal and are dressed with flowing drapery in materials like lightweight cotton, linen or silk. The drapery incorporates animal and botanical prints, ikats, paisleys and batiks to give a timeless colonial appeal. Not to forget, most four poster beds have provision for mosquito nets. This was extremely necessary for protection against mosquitoes that are widespread in the tropical climate of India. Note that the original European furniture that was transported to India by the British was made in softwood which warped in the humid climate of India. Local Indian craftsmen were engaged to replicate designs of the European four poster beds and other pieces of furniture in fine workmanship for the British bureaucrats, the British army officers and their families. Pankhas or ceiling fans In the absence of electricity, a large swinging screen fan or pankha was hung from the ceiling. 
These screens were swung by staff members to allow cool air to circulate within the room. The punkha also formed an interesting decorative accessory and was made of natural materials like rattan or fabric suspended from a wooden frame. Note that India started the generation of hydroelectricity only by the end of the 19th century. The first hydroelectric plant was installed in Darjeeling in the year 1897. Eclectic and travel inspired accessories. The English were globe trotters who accumulated eclectic accessories in fine china, crystal, silver, and carved wood as they traveled to exotic locations around the world. Their collectibles also included traveler pieces like leather trunks, suitcases, old books, globes, maps, telescopes, magnifying glasses, and other travel based accessories. Oversized local plants. The British loved the flora and fauna, hence, they incorporated large potted plants in their gardens, verandas, and the indoors. The large potted plants include ferns and palm trees. The greenery of the potted plants not only gives a fresh look to the interiors but also provides sharp contrast to the white walls and dark wood furniture and floors.